Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good, hello, evening. good evening, teacher. Welcome to our last session of this module. Ready? Okay. As usual, please try to have your camera on, your full okay. name. Jose Antonio, you're staying after the class. 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good, good. Okay, guys, let's get this started. Today is Monday, August 16th. We start doing the attendance as usual. Today, let's see, uh, we have our survey as well. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. I saw Fernando somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I can see you. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Danda Verde. Present. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Madrid Escalante. And Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Yo que dije, oh my God, I'm sorry. Se me mezclaron los ojos así de lado. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Yes. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Thank you. Oh my God. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Está Roberto, ok. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina, no. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excellent. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos, not here yet. Okay. So we are 13, 14, 15. Excellent. Okay, guys. So let's get this started. What was the last topic we talked about? What is the last thing you remember about last class? Mm -hmm. Training. Training. Was it something like training something? Oh my God. Okay. Training options, let's say, right? 
<laughs> different training options that we have. Can you mention yes. any sort of training? Yes, one a one short training. Short short length short term training. Short, uh -huh. training. short term training, short uh, long term training as well. Very good. In house. Okay. In house. One on one two. One on one, uh huh? Shadowing. Okay. Yes. Mentoring. Mentoring. Mentoring, mentoring. right? What is the difference between shadowing and mentoring? Shadowing is uh, when you are next to someone who is at the company, but you are learning how he's doing the things, but he's not telling you must do this, you must do this. And the mentor, he, he does this information. He tells you how to deal with the process, how to tell to the customer. Well, I am talking about in my case, yeah, that, that's what it is. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, a mentor could be a supervisor actually letting you know how to do things, right? And showing you how to do it. But um, shadowing can be done to anybody. Anybody doing that process already, you can shadow, okay, that person and follow the steps. Very good. Okay, as simple as that. Let's do some practice. We have four minutes, so I want you to practice something just to continue speaking, which is the most important part of this module. Okay, don't forget to keep your camera on at all times. That's very important. So your friends, your classmates can see your face. We're missing many of you. Actually, we were 26 on this class right now. I have 15, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we are adults, we know, right? Okay. What did you do during the weekend? That's going to be your question today. We only have five minutes to complete this question. Ask your classmate. Be friendly. Hey, what's up, Isela? What did you do during the weekend? Hey, what's up, Alexander? What did you do during the weekend? Okay. Try to use simple past. Challenge accepted. Can you do it? I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if you can do it. Remember, have a conversation, be natural, be fluent. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hello guys. And hello, Miriam. Hello. 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 Uh, how was your weekend? Well, my 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 last weekend was very difficult because the the last week it uh, was a pay. I I was a pay payment, correct? Payment of of employees for the use of insurance or medical insurance. Because in, in my department, uh, pay the bills when the employees use the insurance medical. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Medical ins insurance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can. Yeah. What about you, Alan? Oh, well. Um... How many, how many, um, how many in the year? Uh, then uh, it, it is Saturday. Um, then it, it is Sunday. Uh, I roll, roll with my with my brother, daughter at the stadium. Uh -huh. uh, in the afternoon, I went to the short short. And um, let me see. In the night, in the night, I went to to eat. I went to eat with my family. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Wait, can somebody, I... can somebody tell Elvin? In the uh, night? In the night? Uh, in the night. You, you went. Mm. Mm. In the night? At Fernando? night. At the okay. Night. Sorry. <laughs> At the night. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. But I wanted your classmates to correct you. Very good. <laughs> At night. Great job. Great job. Keep going. Uh, in my, in my, yeah. Okay. In, in my case, uh, uh, Saturday, I went to, to the bank. I, I, I need uh, to open a new account bank for my new job. So I, I yes, yes, I had to, I had to, to go, I had to go. I need it. I need it, I need it. I need, I need it okay. to open, so very good. That, that is in the, in the morning, in the afternoon, I, I went to, what? That yes. was in the morning. Ah, that was yes. That was, <laughs> in the pass, afternoon, pass, pass, pass. I went to I went to the how do you say taller workshop. I went to the workshop because my car is there, so I have to. I I went to the to the to the workshop to to that's see. A, that's a repair shop. Uh, it's a, it's a, a car that I I I got from the USA, so. If that is in repair. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, Juan, Juan Marcos. Uh -huh. Hello, yeah. Juan Marcos. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Ah, how are you, Juan? I have a problem with my cell phone um, at this moment. Please. Oh. Please let okay. me a chance. No problem, okay. Okay, try to keep going, guys. If your classmates are having problems, try to keep going. Fatima, okay. answer the question. How was your weekend? Simple past, simple past, focus, focus. I was, uh, I, I don't, I don't know how, how you, how you can say, say that, but at the last time I went to Suchitoto, but I went to the, to the house that I told you before, but I didn't, I, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't have time to go to another place. So um, at this time, I think that I'm going to. Um, I'm not going to have a connection because now I'm ahead. So I think that I'm going to turn for some minutes. Hopefully, Hopefully you're back. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on. William, Carla, how was your weekend? William was talking about his weekend. Yeah, I went to yeah. Sushi. And Carla, I think that uh, she has uh, some minutes here. So, Carla, what did you do? What did you do last weekend? Um, in my case, and Saturday, Saturday in the morning, I work. I was, I was working. I was working. Okay. I was working. Um, the afternoon, I am. Um, I am started. I started. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what did you study on Saturday? <laughs> in the university. In the university, really? What are you studying? Ah, um, engineering. Engineering? Yeah, engineering, industrial. Industrial engineering, engineering, yeah. industrial engineering. Wow. Yeah. What yeah. year? What year are you cursing? Um, five year. Fifth year. Fifth. Last year. The last year. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I admire you. I admire you a lot. I didn't finish my <laughs> university career. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish it. Yeah. I um, started working too much. On the Sunday? On yeah. Sunday? On Sunday, yeah, I am started. <laughs> you started? In the morning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> In the morning. Wait, um, online or are you attending the university? Uh, this moment online. Oh, everything is online. Okay. Uh, what yeah. you need? What university do you go to? Um, Tecnológica, Universidad Tecnológica. Oh, and they were coming back, right? They were going back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great, 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 great. Right now is a big sacrifice, but later. <laughs> It's going to work. It. You're going to be happy when you finish yeah. your career. Congratulations. Okay. I'm back. Good, good. Okay, let's go back. Nobody feels nothing is real. Strawberry feels forever. Strawberry feels forever. Okay. Hey, hey, what's up? I have a question. Hey. Who's who's going to be the the next t-shirt? I don't know. Welcome? The next t-shirt. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, as because far as I the... know, mm -hmm. you are going to be your teacher. What? No, I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I have I asked to to I don't know the name of that girl, but she told me that you are going to be our teacher. Really? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's a gossip. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have been told. I don't know. But let's see. Hey, okay. let's get it going, okay? We have to move on with some grammar. I know you love grammar, right? You love grammar. So let's go with the difference between will and ing. <laughs> the difference between the future going will as an auxiliary. Remember, will is a model. There's also an auxiliary, okay? Um, it's another way of speaking, let's say, in future. You have going to as well. But we're going to study tonight will versus the present progressive. The ing, the ando, endo, undo, right? Okay. What is the difference when we use them for future? Hmm. Are you aware that we can use present progressive for future events? No. No? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. And actually, Sometimes. It's, very, it's very natural. It's very natural yeah. to use the present yeah. progressive for future actions. Help me, um, Carla Ivania. Can you read the first box to the left? Okay, read. Well, mm -hmm. it is it is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time. Decide. Okay. Sorry. At the uh -huh. time of speaking. Mm -hmm. Spontaneous offers, promise, and decisions. Okay. For example, I will help with the documents 
they will have us about a learning option. We will we will be on time. Okay, easy, right? Repeat with me. Used. Used. Okay, so you say used. Used. Softer. Used. Used. It is used to talk about future intentions. 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 That are decided. Uh, decided. 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 Better. Promises. Promises. A good job there saying spontaneous. 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 News, spontaneous. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Promises, okay. I will help you. I will help with the documents, I'm sorry. I will help with the documents. I will help with the, the document. The document. The document. Better, I will help with the documents. Do it again. I will help with the documents. <laughs> Very good. They will ask about the e-learning options. They will ask about a learning options. E-learning options. E-learning options. Great. Carla Janet, can you help me with present progressive? Okay. It is used when plans and arrangements have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend. He is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. Good job. Okay, repeat. Arrangements. Arrangements. Yep. The stress is on rain. Arrangement. Arran no, arrangements. <laughs> Better, thank you. The airport. The airport. Mm -hmm. Remember, if there's a vowel after the um, article, we say the, the airport. The airport. Great job. Okay, so one more time. Can somebody explain me in its, in, 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 uh, in its own words? When do we use will? I like this explanation. Read it carefully. It is used to talk about future intentions. In Intentions, okay, that are decided at the time of speaking. It's like when I ask my son to do his homework, I go like, Christopher, did you do your homework? And he goes like, I, I will do it right now. Two hours later, I go like, did you do your homework? Oh, 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 he, no, I didn't do it. Okay, when will you do it? I will do it in an hour, okay. One hour later, mm -mm. so intentions, okay? <laughs> Spontaneous intentions, offers, offers. Hey, can you lend me $5, Alexander? Can you lend me $5? I will pay you. Yes, of course. I will pay you. Okay, it's not coming back. I'm sorry. Okay, promises. I will study teacher. I will do the platform teacher. Sounds familiar? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will, I will. <laughs> okay, good. That's the point. And decisions. Decisions. Um, yeah, I will marry you. Okay, someday, right? Uh, that's a decision, but uh, I don't know, right? You're not certain that that's going to happen. What about the present progressive? It is used when plans and arrangements have been made. Be careful with that. Be careful when you have plans and arrangements. For example, can somebody give me a clear example of when you use the present progressive when you already have plans? Like tonight yeah. before, before the class, what did you tell your family? I'm having lunch. I'm having dinner. No, I'm having an English class. I have in my English class this evening. Okay. 
and that that was a plan right you had plans to have your english class tonight didn't you okay for example tomorrow is tuesday and we don't have classes tomorrow so what are you doing tomorrow evening fernando ernesto i am i am i am, I am playing some video games tomorrow yes you're at free. night yeah. you're off that's right okay <laughs> what about you juan marcos what are you doing tomorrow at this time at this time i am in in english class what tomorrow and tomorrow i i will mm. watch movies on netflix okay you're not sure right if you will watch movies on netflix okay that's the point jocelyn what are your plans for tomorrow tomorrow i will sleep early because we don't have classes are you sure yes <laughs> that doesn't sound like she's sure right if you use will you are considering that your baby is going to be sleep is not going to be sleeping right so mm, it's like yes yeah, okay being a mom is not so easy it's not i know i know i'm a father of three don't worry so i understand your point william what are you doing tomorrow night i don't know but maybe i'm going to cinema i'm going to the cinema really Fast and Furious 10? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, are they playing that movie? You see? Present? Yeah. Progressive. Are they playing that movie tomorrow? I don't know. See? Present Progressive tomorrow. We don't know. Okay. Let's see. Hey, one more, one more, one more. Johnny, what are you doing tomorrow at this time? Um, I'm going to visit my grandma. Okay, I'm going to visit. Is that present progressive, guys? No, it's future. That's future with going to. Be careful with going. Okay, if you use going, you can say to, but don't put a verb after that. Try to use something. I'm going to my grandma's, Johnny. I'm going to my grandma's. That's present progressive, okay? okay? You got the point. I think you got the point. Questions? I'm killing a fly. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm killing a fly. I what? hate flies and the flies in my office. She wants um, to be on the video. Okay. I hate in flies. This, in this case, uh, present progressive okay. is used in future, mm -hmm. but you, but you only need to to use, uh, for example, base verb plus ing. In, in but you don't use um, verb to be right i'm killing a fly I'm killing a fly that's present progressive yes okay. you are doing it right now <laughs> i'm doing it right now aha uh -huh, i got your point alexander okay but for future mm -hmm. plans for things that are already you already made arrangements look at that it is used when plans and arrangements have been made for example, we're in August. Um, it's my brother's birth date on August 31st. So I'm traveling to Santa Ana on August 31st. I'm traveling to Santa Ana on August 31st. Okay. In this case, is when you have a 100%. You already made arrangements. You have the ticket. Okay. You have the money. Okay. Um, I'm becoming one year old. How can I say this? I'm becoming one year at Blackhawk on October 26. 
I'm becoming a one year employee. I'm becoming a one year employee at the call center on, on October 26, for example. And it's true. That's my anniversary, let's say, with the company. So maybe I'm having vacations after that date. <laughs> okay. Maybe I will have, maybe I will have vacations, I should say, based on this. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fatima, give me an example. Any plans, something that you already have arrangements for? I am visiting uh, my family. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, uh, I may. That's it. We are perfect. We are watching Netflix. We're watching Netflix. Okay. Excellent. Miguel Angel. Okay. Um... I am playing soccer with my coworkers at night. Tonight? At night. Yes, tonight. Tomorrow at night, sorry. Oh, tomorrow at night, okay. Yeah. Not a problem, that's awesome. You got it, okay. Adita, where is Ada? Hello, Ada. Hello, teacher. Any surgeries scheduled? Yes. <laughs> okay. How will you say it? I'm opening someone tomorrow. I am uh, <laughs> sleep early, sleeping early, teacher. <laughs> tonight or tomorrow? Yeah, tonight. Oh, tonight. tonight. Tonight I'm sleeping. Okay, yes, you can say that. Tonight I'm sleeping early. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Approach. <laughs> I'm taking advantage, repeat, I'm taking advantage. Don't make up words. Yes. Okay. Depend, depend my work, depend my work. It depends on my job, repeat, it depends on my job. I it's the, it's depend on my, on my job. It depends on my job, okay. Yes. Good job, okay. I think you got it, so let me just check the plan in here really quick. Okay, so I think we are ready um, in that sense. Do you have questions in terms of the grammar that we use to build these sentences? Any questions on how to use the grammar? How to make the structure? No? Just remember guys, at all times in both sentences, there's an auxiliary. Okay, and it's present in positive, negative, and question. Okay, so there's always an auxiliary. Where, what's the auxiliary for will? Will. Will, right? As simple as that. That's the auxiliary and that goes on positive, negative, and question, right? And always the auxiliary is affected by the negative and becoming the question. So let me just do a quick example to remind you, you need a subject, you need will always, and then a verb, but in its base form. Don't forget that. We'll eat pizza, okay. I'm on a diet, so, and don't forget, you can always make contractions. I want eat pizza. I'm on a diet. Yeah. Will you or will I eat pizza? Okay. WH, what will you eat? eat? What will you eat? I'll eat pizza. Okay. Okay. About the um, present continuous, present progressive is the same thing. The present participle is the same thing. Present participle, present progressive, present continuous. They are all the same. You need a subject, okay? The verb to be. I'm going to use a different one. She. What is the verb to be for she? Is, right? She's having pizza. 
Okay. She's having pizza tonight. You see, I'm saying the same thing. She's having pizza tonight. What's the negative? She is she isn't having pizza tonight. What is going on here? Hmm? Okay, she isn't having pizza tonight. Okay, what well, what will be the question? Is she is she, is she having pizza tonight? I don't know. Okay, is she having pizza tonight? What will be, what will be the open question? What about the twins? Ah, okay. Better, okay, better in English. Okay, what's the open question, Will? What? Somebody, what's uh, the open where, question? When is when is she having pizza tonight? Oh. Where, pardon, where, where? Where, where, is she where, where, where? where is she where? having pizza tonight? Where? Okay, okay, where? where? I'm going to use where. Uh -huh. Hey, if you use when, don't forget to remove the time. When, when is she having pizza tonight? Where is when she having pizza tonight? If you say when, you don't, you cannot say tonight. When is she having pizza? Because the answer is tonight. Questions? No questions? Okay, everybody, open your microphone. Open your microphone. Turn on your microphone. And turn on your camera, guys. Come on. Let me see your beautiful face. Where are your beautiful faces? Come on, guys. Can you imagine if I will talk to you? Come on, guys, turn on your micro cameras. Come on. Okay. Would you like a teacher like that all the time? <laughs> all right. Okay. Everybody at the same time, okay? Let's play with the verb to be. I say the subject, say the verb to be, okay? So if I say I. Um. M M M M M M M M M R R R R R R R R R R R who said is? Come on, guys. Your eyes are. Be careful. Okay. Uh -huh. Carolina. Is. Is. Okay. The chair. Is. Is. You got it, right? There's no doubt about it. Okay. Very good. So that was very easy. Let's work on your page. This is page 39, exercise six, okay? Complete the exercise, whether it's will or going to, you tell me, okay? Again, that's page 39, exercise six. Let's do it together. Okay, let's go. Okay. Por favor, no one can share the screenshot. Reina, can you help? Yes. Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... The teacher no. sent it. The 
39. 39. Yeah. Uniform the number six complete the center uses using wheels. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Would you like something to drink? Just because I have I can I am having I am having a trainer at the restaurant. I am having. Yes, it's present progressive. Because she's telling that she will have it for sure. Okay. I am having. You look tired. Tired. I. I will help you. Mm -hmm. Me lo siento, me siento perdido. De repente me quedé viendo a él, Vina. Okay, I am, I have, okay, this second one, I am having, yes. I'm having a training at first round. Training at the restaurant. You look tired. I will help you. I will help you, right? I will help you yeah. finish the document. I will help. Oh, right. Okay. The kitchen manager will fly to Italy. On Friday, here are the tickets. Mm. The kitchen manager is flying. It's flying, it's flying. Mm -hmm. to Iran. But teacher, what is the common use? You can use wheel as well. That is. Mm, what do you think? Based on the information given before, is flying. Why? Because it's a arrangement. It's an arrangement. A, How do you know? Because is for the the word here is the ticket. Here it's are a, the tickets. Yeah, here are the tickets. Yeah. They already bought the tickets. Okay. The owner. Um, the owner will come to talk. 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 Will come. The, this is the, the, I mean, this is the, the part in, in the, the work, homework that if I put, or well, if I write down, will not, Work or will not work yeah. next week appears that is the the answer is wrong. Oh, on the platform? Exactly. If mm. I'm trying to different mm -hmm. way, and nothing works. But you know how to answer it. One W O N apostrophe T. Well, as well, mm -hmm. and does and didn't work. I know there was a mistake on the platform in that sense. Okay, okay come on. But come in on. this case, it will not work. It will not work next week. Okay. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You look tired. I will help. Yeah. Tired. 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 Okay. 
Okay, let's see. I can come with you on Sunday. I'm having a training at the restaurant. Okay, you look tired. I will help you finish the documents. The kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. There is coming to talk to us about training solutions. He isn't working next week. Mm. 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 For the last one, and I try to I try the too many ways, but the platform for the platform that is that is correct. So platform 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 the platform. Yeah, the the owner is coming to talk to us about training solutions. Mm. Okay, you're not giving a context, but. Your way works good. Okay, let me see the others. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure uh, the number four, but no, no, the number three. But... The kitchen manager. No, no. You look tired. Ah, I will help. I will help. I will help to finish the documents. Oh, yeah, because uh -huh. I am helping. It sounds like it's, it's an intention to, to help you. Not... Uh -huh. Te descansa, I will help. For me, I will help. Yeah, okay. I agree. I agree. I will help yeah. to finish the documents. Mm -hmm. In number six, he isn't. It's yeah, working. and working next week. And working next week. Okay. Because you are completely, it's not like uh, your schedule work next week. But mm -hmm. That's possible. Yeah. That's Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Is that story? She's story now. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. I'm sorry. I get excited when I do something good. Okay. So I can come with you on Sunday. I am having. Why? Because she is telling something she's sure that she will have a training at the restaurant. Yeah, when you say you can't, um, that's definite, right? It's like, no, sorry, I can't. I can come with you on Sunday. I'm having a training at the restaurant. That's already scheduled. That's right. Okay, somebody else, number three, you look tired. By the way, tired, tired. Tired. <laughs> okay, let me show you something. Let me be, maybe we just get it here. You say, tired. Oh my God, I'm not typing. T tired. Tired. Try it. Tired. Tired. Close. Very good. Now remember, in English there is no. Okay. In English there is a. Tu lengua se viene hasta atrás, casi que te toca el garillo, como decimos en salvadoreño. It's for Russians. It's for Russians. Yeah, the r r is for Russians. That's right. Tired. So, te invito a que enrolles la lengua hacia atrás lo más que puedas y luego la soltes, lo que es con la punta de tu lengua, los dientes superiores en la parte de atrás al final. Tired. Try it. Tired. Tired. Good. 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 You got it. You see? Tired. Very good. Not an easy word. 
Okay. So you look tired. I I will help, I will help you I will finish help the you documents. Finish the documents. Why? Why I will and not I'm going to help you. I'm or I'm helping you. I'm helping you. I'm sorry. Why will and not I'm helping you? It's not a schedule. It's not a schedule. Mm. Mm. There was something right related to that. Promises. Promise. These three have to do. Oh, a spontaneous. It's spontaneous. A spontaneous offers. Oh, I will help you. I will help you. Okay, it's right now, but and that's future right now. I mean, that's gonna happen right now. You look tired. I'll help you finish the document. Okay, right now. Okay, number four. The kitchen manager. Hmm. Come on, someone else. The kitchen manager, Elvin. Yeah. Sandra. Flying. The chicken manager is flying to Italy. Oh, fly. on Friday. To Italy. Italy. Italy, uh -huh. Italy on, on Friday. On Friday. Why? Uh huh. Why? is flying and not will fly. The tickets are already bought. Purchase, purchased. Purchased. Yeah, tickets are already purchased. Okay, they they already bought. They already bought the tickets. Very good. The kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Very good. Here are the tickets. Okay, Johnny, help me with number five, the owner. Mm -hmm. the, the, the owner will come to talk to us. about training solutions, okay. Will come, what do you think, Claudia? Is it will or is coming? Is, will. Will, the owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. Does anybody have is coming and can the support? The owner coming to talk to us about training solutions. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, is there know. anything on this sentence that give you assurance that that is going to happen? Mm. For me, it's when, well. when the person, yeah, person progresses, we don't have to use two and not another better, better base. Mm. It will is a preposition, right? It's in, it's in the past and the the but you're using come, will come to talk to us, or is coming to talk to us? Yeah, it's coming. Let me tell let me tell you a secret. Yes, you don't know. There's nothing in this context that allows me to assume. Yeah. So let me tell you a secret. In natural spoken English, I mean, you have to be very specific, okay? If you're going to use ing, present progressive, you have to be very specific, okay? Got it? Got it. So, so number five could be will or could be coming to talk to us. Okay. Number six. Miguel Angel. He is not working next week. He's not working this week. Easy. Okay, maybe based on the schedule, right? Based on the schedule, or somebody's covering his shift, so he's he isn't working next week. He isn't working next week. He won't work next week. Mm, no, he isn't working. In this case, when you talk about schedules, okay. Okay, let's get this rolling. I'll do the attendance right now so we can breathe for a minute, okay?
Turn on your cameras, please. Let me do the attendance really quick. Okay. Let's go. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. René, perdón, Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Aquí es Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Got it, William. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excelente. Bien, espero que ya nadie se desconecte. Primero Dios, no perdamos a nadie con su conexión. Dentro de 20 28 minutos comenzamos la encuesta y es importante que todos estén. Ok. So, let's get this going, guys. On our next po bullet point here. So, in this last topic, I will be able to, Fatima. <laughs> Can you read, please? The, the thing on basic checklist and evaluation and effective of staff, staff training. Good. Close. Let's see. Repeat. Design. Design. A basic checklist. A basic checklist. Again, design a basic checklist. Design a basic checklist. One more time. Design a basic checklist. Design a basic checklist. Better. To evaluate. To evaluate. The effectiveness. The effectiveness. 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 Uh -huh. Of staff training. Of staff training. Good. Of staff training. Of staff training. That's difficult. Of staff of, training. Of try, try, of staff, of staff training. training. Staff, staff, staff training. Very good. Okay. Question. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? That's the first question. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? How do you, reason, how do you, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? Hmm. How do you evaluate the effectiveness of a training? Okay, so I want to hear your opinion. I will split the class in groups again and just make sure you answer these two questions. I think are very simple questions. Use your creativity, your creativity, creativity to answer these two questions, okay, with your classmates. Read them carefully. This is page 40 and is our last 
topic, okay? Make sure you talk, let's go. Okay, good evening. Hello, Carla. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Hello. 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 The Mario. teacher send the questions. The questions and WhatsApp. I am trying to find it. Okay, I'm going to ask, for example, I'm going to ask the question for Carla and Carla for Johnny, Johnny for Alan, and Alan for Fatima, and Fatima for me, okay? Okay. Um, are trainings implement only to correct problems with employee performance? How do you evaluate the effective in, effectiveness of training? Carla. Uh, let me let me think. think. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you, Chai. Uh, not necessary, but in in the uh, in, in the in the in the practice, but in the practice is like that. Normally are implement for correct some problem in the performance uh, uh, in the co-workers. Mm -hmm. um, behavior. Sorry, sorry. Um, yes, uh, I understand your point that for me, I think the the harder do you evaluate the effective training is about behaviors. I think for me, um, Johnny or Alan, um, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Um. We could use an, uh, a survey. What about to... results? <laughs> well, when you are, uh, um, I'm going to, to use an example in my job. We use KPIs. <laughs> uh, that's a long, uh, that's a long conversation. Yes, a lot. And that's the result that all the things. Okay, key performance indicators. Yes. Um, uh, for example, um, um, how many uh, trips the the people, for example, in my case, it's a driving uh, company, it's a logistic company. Uh, they, they try to, um, to uh, how can I say that it's complex with, in Spanish it's easy, but in yes. English it's difficult. It's not, uh, not have the vocabulary, to, to technical vocabulary in those cases. Uh, um, well, they try to to count everything that the the driver do uh, trips, um, um, how many quantity of of product do the those kind of things that uh, try to measure um, the the effectiveness. In some of the case of training, how many accidents they have. For example, uh, before they take um, a training of secure uh, traffic, secure. Johnny, 
Kan iya api. Oke. The training are used to teach new procedures, but also to remind people of the procedures to always follow. And about the second question, I think that that the training is, is effective. Um, 50, 60 percent. Uh, sometimes the the new procedures. Are, are difficult and we need we need to time we need to time to to recording and and put put in practice okay and you and you're talking about alexander and you okay it's, sorry, is is if uh, li you listening noisy, but it's raining very hard. <laughs> yeah, in my house as well. But in this case, our training implement only to correct problems with employee performance. E yes, they they are because I believe that the more of the company they try to. Uh, review the time for trainings in order yeah. to get in order to to don't reduce his their their production right and in this case i believe that they only they are focusing on uh, issues or weaknesses about your performance and then how do you evaluate the effectiveness of the training in my case i believe that the training is uh 80 percent effective because okay. uh you get the knowledge but you need to practice and your job um, in the real time and the 20 percent actually is going to be get about your experience Okay. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's keep going. So believe it or not, these two questions are very wide. I mean, to answer these questions, uh, we could even have a training about something behind these two questions. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? No. Okay. Um, oh, I mean, <laughs> keep an eye on this. Mind this. That's the way you say oh in English, okay? Mind this. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Mind this. Okay. Correct problems with employee performance. Mm. When there is a new procedure, a new procedure, you need to train everybody. When the mission 
or the opposite, the vision and the mission of the company needs to be acquired or learned by the whole company, okay? You need to have a training, okay? And that's not correcting employee performance. That is just supplementary information, but very important information, okay? So it's not just to correct employee performance. Um, how do you evaluate the effectiveness, the effectiveness of a training? Okay, many of you were saying, yeah, you know, it all depends on your performance, how you do, if you're doing good or not. Alan mentioned KPIs. Uh, for us that work in call centers, we know about KPIs and that's a very extensive topic, okay? KPIs are known as key performance indicators, okay? Yeah, key performance indicators, okay? And that tells if you are doing your job or not. A key performance indicator could be you reaching the goals, Elvin, on the, on the production line, right? Are you reaching the goals? Okay, that is a key performance indicator. How many units per hour or for every two hours you are completing? How many calls you're taking in a call center? Okay, how many entries are you doing on your accounting reports every day? And so on. Those are key performance indicators. And it's based on time, you know, to determine how efficient, how effective you are behaving in your position. Does that make sense? Numbers talks about you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to walk the talk. I told you that before, right? You have to walk the talk. Don't forget about that. Okay. Walk the talk. You learn something? Walk the talk. Show me. Show me what you got. Walk the talk. Okay. As, as simple as that. Okay. Any questions on that? Someone was talking about a survey, conducting a survey to find out about the uh, effectiveness of a training. But are surveys efficient when looking for results, because that's the whole point. How do you measure results? Uh, why am I talking so much about results and training and all that? Next module, Intermediate 2 has to do with that. I don't know who's gonna be your teacher, but <laughs> you have to study that, okay? Study about training and get, get knowledge about it. So we're gonna start with uh, the next stage. Let me make sure this is what follows. And we're right on time. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna go with a reading and I will need your help for this, okay? Some of you are going to help me and we're gonna do this. So let me have, um, let me see, Ada Susana, can you read the instructions? Okay. Please, thank read, you. Read the following except about the importance of evaluate, evaluating the effects of training program. Discuss the question below with partner, a partner. Excellent. Repeat, excerpt. Excerpt. Mm -hmm. Esta es una buena palabra para practicar articulación, miren. Excerpt. Excerpt. <ríe> es como decir pata, Ada, pero quítale las dos A. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí, excerpt. Excerpt. Oh, very close, close. Excerpt. Excerpt. Mm -hmm. Very good. Not a common word. Es muy común esta palabra. Okay, 
about the importance of evaluating the effects, repeat, the effects. The effect. Effects. The, the effects okay. of training. Vámonos, okay. vámonos. A ver, the effect. The effect. Good. The effects uh -huh. of, the train, effect of, of training, training pro programs. Okay. Discuss okay, the repeat. Discuss. Discuss the question below with a partner. Close. Very good. Everybody pay attention. You say questions. Questions. Que questions. Okay, let me write it down. Vamos a matar ese pájaro de un solo. Decimos questions. Kill two, kill two birds with a stone. <laughs> kill two birds. What, what was it? Kill two birds with a stone? With a stone. With a stone, okay. Stone. Questions. 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 Look, así como Questions. está escrito, así como está escrito. Ana. Questions. Perfect. Questions. Me va a decir, teacher, pero yo que dicen questions. Questions. <laughs> sí, pero si tú practicas questions, ok, population, population, ya cuando hables así rápido, ni vas a sentir, eso va a ser bien, pro. Te lo digo por experiencia, es lo mejor que puedes hacer. Questions, questions. Ok, good job. Let's start. So, who else can help me reading here? Solo uno, muchachos, no se apure. Me Fernando. Me. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Training evaluations. Asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development okay, wait, wait, program. Wait. Wait, let's start over. Si te equivocas, te detengo y okay. okay? Good. One, two, go. three, go. Asking your employees, ah, training evaluation. Asking your employees what they do. Uh, okay. okay, you say thought. Thought. Okay. Thought. 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 Suck. Ah. Come, come. <laughs> Don't worry. Suck. It thought. happens. Okay. okay. You say uh -huh. thought. 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 Ah, thought. 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 Ojo, Fer. Zapato. Zapato. Zapote. Zapote. Thought. 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 Saquen la lengua, si no, no funciona eso. Thought. 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 There you go. There you go. Thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice really quick. What? Okay. Sorry, give me one second. Um... <laughs> Repeat, I'm having second thoughts about it. I'm having second thought about it. Thoughts about it. Thought about it. Thoughts. Thought about it. Okay. Well, Ojo, eh? Thoughts. Uh, so, thoughts. So, I'm having second thoughts. Thoughts. So, thoughts. Mm -hmm. thoughts. Fer, no está sacando la lengua y poniéndole entre los dientes. Eso no se, así mm -hmm. se escucha. Thoughts. 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 Thought. Ahí estás. Ahí está. Perfecto. Thoughts. Thoughts. There you go. I'm having second thoughts about it. I'm having second thoughts about it. Oh, ya thought. lo tenías. Thoughts. 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 Mm -hmm. thoughts. thoughts. There you go. Thoughts. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts about it. I'm having second thoughts about it. <laughs> yes, you got it. Second thoughts. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Lo estoy pensando dos veces. Okay. Me estoy arrepintiendo. I'm having second thoughts about it. Thoughts. Okay. Así como que ya la regué. Ya cometí, la, mm -hmm. ya tomé la decisión, uh, pero me estoy arrepintiendo. I'm having second thoughts about it. Okay. Okay. Good. Thought. Yes. Next volunteer. I want to try it. Go ahead from the beginning. Okay. Training evaluation. Asking your employees what they thought of the training. 
is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. Develop. Uh huh. Develop. It doesn't say develop. Develop. It says development. 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 Ah, development. development. ¿Dónde está el estrés ahí, chicos? B. Bell. Okay. Development. Okay, everybody. Development. Development. Uh -huh. Of the development program. Okay, next to try. Solo uno, chicos. No se apresuren. Solo uno. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. At the beginning. Yes, from the beginning. Training evaluation. Asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the develop, development program. <laughs> a training? A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees fill out up, uh, upon completing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> upon. And it re upon. is written the way it is written. Fill out upon completing, upon completing, upon completing. Completing the program. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are very close, William. Good job. Okay, one more. Who wants to continue? Try again. Jocelyn, Ise. Carla, Claudia. Okay, for me. Okay, okay. Claudia. Um, training evaluation. Asking your employees what they thought of the training. It is important part of the evaluation. Okay. For you. Agregamos una it aquí. <laughs> is, training. Uh -huh. is training is an important is part. An important part of the evaluation for the oh, for for the development. Oh, the development. The development <laughs> we have to practice we have to practice okay let's see one more time one more time okay go ahead okay. training evaluation asking your employees that they thought of mm -hmm. the training mm -hmm. what they what uh -huh. they thought uh -huh. of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the day by law development. Ah, uh, development. 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 I just said stress. Development program. Development. Development program. A training evaluation. Questionnaire. And here we say questionnaire. 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 They the trainees fill out up to upon upon completing completing and affecting tools. Okay, close, very close, Claudia. Everybody, pay attention. I'm just gonna read it before we do the um the. I think we're ready. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not ready yet. Not yet. Okay, floor. Oh, no, se nos ha unido la compañera Flor. So, really quick, I'm just going to read it so you pay attention, okay? Training okay. evaluation. Me gustó algo que hizo Claudia, es que iba palabra por palabra, tranquilo, no pasa nada. Training evaluation. Asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey through email, a checklist, or a questionnaire right after the training is over. A trainee survey focusing, oh, focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have started using them 
measures the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must combine such information with objective evaluations to get a complete picture of training results. That's the way you read. When you haven't never read something, just read it word by word. Okay. Bien, estamos listos ya. Vamos a pasar al español. <laughs> okay, son las 9.25. Y está Flor con nosotros. So, eh, bien, dejemos de hacer todo lo que estamos haciendo. Encendamos las cámaras, por favor. Pendientes todos. Eh, esta parte, les parecerá exagerado todo, pero... Así es esto. Es una parte muy crítica de estos programas. Sin esta parte, el programa no tendría efectividad. Y eh, si tú has tomado un curso de Excel, de no sé, de qué más, de taller, de hecho, uy, en Don Bosco daban unos cursos de, de oh, mecatrónica y todo eso. Y yo me quedaba, wow, vea, soldadura industrial. ¿Cómo, cómo soldar con gas? O sea, todo eso, imagínate lo que tiene Insafor y que es un gran beneficio realmente. Aprender otro oficio es, es, es increíble. Entonces, pero siempre, incluso en esos cursos, yo me, me quedaba, Dios mío, y hasta aquí dan esto de la encuesta, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque, como lo estaba viendo en el tema de trainings, al final de un curso, de un entrenamiento, es necesario recibir una retroalimentación para que esto pues sea flawless ¿cómo se diría eso? es imposible ¿verdad? es que algo no tenga errores pero en este caso es importante saber cómo tú te has sentido a través de todo el curso y lo voy a decir desde ahorita porque hay una parte dentro de la encuesta en la que se te va a preguntar esto y, y ojo ¿eh? no es que si te gusta eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo te explico? A ver, la encuesta va orientada ante todo el servicio que se te ha brindado. ¿Cómo tú te has sentido con, con inglés corporativo en cuanto a, al desarrollo de la clase? ¿Ok? Hay cosas que son normativas de Insafor. Por ejemplo, esto de tener encendida la cámara. Es, it's a must. Es un deber completo. O sea, es como una responsabilidad que tenés como parte de haber aceptado estar en esta beca de aprendizaje. Y ojo, ¿eh? Es una beca de aprendizaje que miles de personas no tienen. Así te lo digo. Yo y, y les comento, yo estoy desarrollando un programa de inglés también, pero he orientado a gente, pero de escasos recursos. Y ya llevo seis, siete años dándome duro, pensando cómo hacer con alguien que es iletrado. O sea, alguien que nunca estudió, que, que añora esto. No tiene idea. Yo he andado en el campo viendo gente, pero que come frijoles todos los días y frijoles negros. ¿Cuándo hay frijoles? Imagínate, y ellos tienen esta necesidad, pero no se les puede dar el curso porque no hay internet y otras deficiencias. Tú, gracias a Dios, has tenido la bendición de estar acá. Pues te invito a que, a que respetes esas normas, más que todo, pues, porque somos adultos, ¿no? Y, y creo que estamos ya en la edad de, de, de seguir esos lineamientos, aunque no nos gusta a veces, ¿verdad? Pero es importante, es muy importante. Ese lineamiento de tener la cámara encendida, el nombre completo, tiene una razón de ser, un sentido de ser. Eh, si noto que Isela va manejando todavía, no sé si está manejando Isela o va manejando a alguien no, no voy manejando ah, ok, ok, bien, porque eh, bien, ahorita no vamos a hacer la encuesta ¿eh? yo les voy a explicar y luego vamos a hacer la encuesta todos juntos ok, yo les voy a dar espacio para que lo hagan, pero es necesario comprender cada parte de la encuesta para no cometer un error, que aunque les parezca pequeño, olvidar un punto un guión, o agregar un guión de más, eso puede ser un error garrafal dentro de la encuesta y generar un problema peor allá, pues con el proceso que esa forma espera que llevemos a cabo, entonces eh, habiendo dicho todo este preámbulo, vamos directo a a su encuesta, pues bien, tengo conmigo un, un correo que todos tienen que haber recibido. Eh, sí, hay ciertos compañeros que no lo han de haber recibido, pero los que sí lo recibieron, y eso es lo importante también, es muy importante que vuelvan a ese correo. Ok, ahorita no lo vamos a hacer, solo les voy a explicar lo que vamos a hacer juntos. Ok, y luego lo hacemos paso a paso. So, vamos al correo. Cuando les diga cuándo lo hagamos, vamos a ir a ese correo que les cayó. 
Y ahí estaba toda, mi, toda la información. Esto es lo que ustedes recibieron. Los, estos son los datos requeridos. Los datos del curso estaban dentro de ese correo. La orden de inicio, el nombre completo suyo de cada uno. Ok, en este caso yo tengo como ejemplo el de Fátima. Ok, ahí está su correo electrónico, el nombre del proveedor que somos nosotros. Toda la información está en ese correo. La fecha de ejecución y cuándo se termina el curso. Entonces, ahí aparecía el link también. Abro el link de la encuesta y me aparece esto, ¿no? Ok. Bien, ojo, ¿eh? Ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Será proporcionado por nosotros. Ya está ahí. ¿Cuál es la orden de inicio? ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Entonces, si ustedes tienen una computadora, súper fácil. Si no, pues mantiene el dedo presionado en la pantalla del celular justo sobre estos números. Se tiene que remarcar y le va a dar la opción, si usted tiene su celular en inglés, dirá copy, right? o más bien select, select, right? Y va a poder jugar ahí con los dedos y poderse sombrear todo esto. Luego va a mantener sostenido el dedo, dije mantener sostenido, bueno, va a sostener el dedo sobre esos números de nuevo y le va a dar la opción que dice copiar. Okay. Yo voy a copiar eso. Si estoy en la computadora, control C, control V y ya está. Ese es mi número de orden. Copiar, pegar. Nombre completo. Ay, qué pereza, ¿verdad? Aquí está mi nombre. Aquí me lo pusieron. Lo voy a copiar de aquí. Ok, lo copio. Lo pego acá. Tal cual, sin espacio. Es un nombre completo. Primero, segundo nombre, apellidos y ya. Correo electrónico. A ver, ¿quién me dice qué correo electrónico vamos a ocupar acá? Que nos registramos. Con el que se registraron, créanlo no. Hay compañeros que incluso entran a la clase con el correo que no es. Y un día entran con uno, otro día entran con otro. Todo esto es ejemplo, por supuesto, no es necesariamente la información de su compañero, pero entonces, el correo electrónico con el que se registraron, muy importante. ¿eh? Nombre del proveedor, ya vamos a llegar ahí. Entonces, Número de celular, lo mismo. El número de celular que ustedes con el que se inscribieron. Teacher, pero yo lo cambié. Ok. El número al que se le pueda llamar sin safor desea auditar y llamar. Y mire cómo estuvo su um, curso. Eh, vimos que puso tal cosa. No sé, ¿le gustó? Ah, no, perdón. Esto, esto, es, esto es, ¿cómo se dice? Anónimo, ¿no? Creo que queda anónimo. Pero el punto es de que pueden... Al azar ellos elegir a alguien y llamarle, miren, parece que usted estuvo en tal módulo, ¿sí? Ah, ok, ¿qué le pareció? Ok, excelente. Y luego otra pregunta, no sé, sexo, femenino, masculino, departamento de residencia. De nuevo, ¿qué será acá? Donde usted reside, ¿no? Yo vivo en San Salvador, San Salvador, etcétera. Municipio, lo mismo. Empresa donde trabaja, y aquí sí hago una pausa. La empresa donde trabajamos tiene que ser exacta cuál la razón social de su empresa. Si tienen alguna, alguna duda con eso, me preguntan y me dicen, mire, teacher, yo no sé si mi empresa se pone el SADCB o el RL, en el que me lo preguntan. Aquí lo tengo también. ¿Estamos? So far, so good. So far, so good. Ok. Bien, chicos. Eh, nombre del proveedor. Aquí vamos a seleccionar, miren, es de drop down el menú, el bajar el menú fácilmente y puedo buscar donde dice inglés corporativo Regal International SADCB, lo mismo está acá en su formulario, en su correo. Nombre del curso, ¿cómo se llama el curso? Inglés Intermedio Modulo. Ok, por favor, cuidado con las comillas. Ok, lo mismo, sin comillas, control copiar, control pegar. Ya está. Ok. Ahora, eso ya es muy de ustedes. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso de insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Cuánto duró el curso? Intermedio cinco semanas. Cinco semanas hemos tenido acá juntos. ¿eh? De lunes a viernes, dos horas, todos los días, cinco semanas. 25 días. ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? ¿Es insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Es decir, utilizamos Zoom, 
¿Verdad? Alguna que otra presentación, el libro principalmente, ¿Verdad? Ok. ¿En qué fecha inició el curso? Eso también está en su correo y ustedes pueden fijarse ahí. Aquí sí ya es de bajar esto. Ojo con esto, ¿Eh? No vayan a querer escribir porque no van a poder. ¿Ok? ¿Cuándo empezó el curso? Ahí está 6 de julio y terminó el 16. Ok, vamos a ver, 6 de julio. Empezamos un martes 6 de julio. Terminamos el día de hoy. Ya está preseleccionada la fecha de hoy. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Eso es opcional. Es opción de ustedes también. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Lo que les mencionaba, no sé, si hay Excel, si hay desarrollo de inglés corporativo, está ya, creo que les enviaron el correo, estamos lanzando nuevos cursos, gracias a Dios, pues qué bueno que, que el, la empresa se está ampliando en ese sentido. Ahí pueden regresar al chat y ver qué otros cursos son de su interés. Ok, comentarios. Y aquí sí ya su opinión muy personal. Si desean, si sí lo desean hacer, ¿no? Eso no es eh, campo requerido, como lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? No tiene el, el asterisco ahí a la par. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Hasta acá? ¿No hay preguntas? Mi teacher. Ajá. ¿Me puede mandar el link para hacer la encuesta? Que no lo encuentre aquí en el chat. Claro que sí. Es más, ahorita lo voy Thank a you. poner en la... en el chat de todos. Eh... Lo que sí, ya, ya se lo voy a enviar porque na, nadie lo va a hacer ahorita. Ya casi terminamos la explicación. ¿Algo otra pregunta relacionada a lo que hemos explicado? ¿No? Yo tengo una pregunta. Sí. Eh, acerca de la, las empresas. Si uh -huh. me puede brindar ahí, el, por ejemplo, el de la mía. Yo sé que solo es acceso financiero, pero no me acuerdo si LTD o esto o CB. Juan, Juan Marcos uh -huh. ¿Le cayó el correo, Juan Marcos, para hacer la encuesta? No, me lo mandaron por WhatsApp, el link Ah, ok, perfecto, vamos a ver eh, O sea, se lo enviaron de, de acá, de inglés corporativo, Juan Marcos Sí, sí, sí Y sí, y sí aparece como acceso financiero LTDA ¿Sabe qué? Se lo voy a copiar aquí en el chat de Zoom usted, usted directamente Okay. Could you verify also if is Sykes also use uses LTDA uses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do the LTDA. Period. Okay. Uh, thank yes, yes. You're welcome. Sí. Ahí está yo también. LTDA period. Uh -huh. LTD, LTDA period. LTDA period. LTDA period. Vaya. Eh, okay. La, la última instrucción que es la más importante quizás ¿Alguien tiene problemas tomándole capturas de pantalla a su teléfono o haciéndolo con la computadora? No. Es, es en serio, ¿no? Porque al final al finalizar la encuesta les voy a pedir y esto es muy importante ojo, ¿eh? no hemos empezado la encuesta espero que nadie la haya hecho aún porque este paso es crítico y quizás es como es lo que va a quedar al finalizar ustedes esta encuesta al darle submit, al darle enviar, si está en español, le va a aparecer un cuadrito que le va a decir con felicidades o muchas gracias por haber completado la encuesta. Entonces a esa pantalla necesito que por favor le tomen una captura o si tienen un celular y están en la computadora y no saben cómo hacerlo, tómenle una foto y la vamos a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp poniendo nuestro nombre completo debajo de la imagen. Repito, tomo la captura, la envío al grupo de WhatsApp con mi nombre completo, no el mío, sino que el suyo, ¿verdad? Voy a poner mi nombre, por favor. El nombre de cada uno de ustedes. Yo llevaré el conteo acá de cada uno que vaya enviando el, a la captura, la imagen, al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Solo hasta tener esas todas las capturas Terminamos este proceso y continuamos con la última parte de la clase, ¿ok? So. Eh, teacher, tengo yes. una consulta, disculpe. Sí, Claudia. Eh, en la primera pregunta dice, ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones, pleca y será proporcionado, el proveedor puede copiar y pegarlo. Uh -huh. En este caso que yo lo estaría typeando, tengo que poner los entre paréntesis. Um, no solo los no. guiones y las plecas. 
tal cual se los he puesto a todos ahorita acá en el chat de Zoom. Acá en el chat de Zoom, ahí está la orden de inicio tal cual se las he puesto. 26-687-6694-0002, pleca 2021. Ahí está. Sin paréntesis, ok. Uh -huh. Así como está asignada. Pueden copiarla y pegarla en la forma. Ok, bien, si gustan podemos abrir el link entonces y vamos a dar inicio a la, a la encuesta. Sin miedo al éxito. Ah, dije que iba a enviar el link, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Puedes Ahí confirmar the, the name of the course? ¿Es the same uh, inglés para el trabajo? No, el, número del, el nombre del curso, Iselas, es Inglés Intermedio Módulo 1. Ah, ok, ok, got it. Ahorita, no hay de qué. Entre comillas, correcto. No, sin las comillas, ahí está. Sin las comillas. Sin las comillas. Uh -huh. Comenzamos el 6 de julio, ¿verdad? Comenzamos el día 6 de julio y terminamos el 16 de agosto. Okay. Despacio, chicos, no hay prisa, no se vayan a equivocar. ¿Sí? Ahí les estoy poniendo para que... Ah, bueno, la fecha de hecho es de selección múltiple, no es necesario eso. Pero sí, comenzamos el 6 de julio. Y terminamos hoy 16 de agosto. Bien, me callo ya. Si alguien tiene una pregunta con relación a la razón social de su empresa o algo más, me avisa. En la 15, teacher, uh -huh. mencioné que otros cursos son de su interés. Pues, ¿Qué otros mencionó? No recuerdo cuáles mencionó. Que tienen. Fíjese que estamos abriendo Marketing Digital, Microsoft sí, Excel, bien. Adobe, PS, AI sí. y PR. Uh -huh. Eso de Adobe es una gran cosa. Sí. Igual marketing digital, todo depende del rubro de su empresa también. ¿no? Pero hay que estar preparado. En el 9 dice nombre del proveedor con que se capacitó. Sería como uh -huh. está en el link, ¿verdad? Que dice, dice regla internacional. Regal, ajá, regal internacional. Regal. International SASB. Sí, ahí está de selección múltiple esa, esa opción, esa pregunta. Se va a, 10, se va no, a enviar el WhatsApp el solo con el nombre completo. ¿verdad? Sí, el screenshot con tu nombre completo abajo, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. ¿Dónde está tu mouse? Está Excelente, muy bien. Así como lo hizo Alexander, espero sus, sus screenshots también, por favor. Bien, voy a marcar a Alexander que ya está ahí. Bien, eh, tengo a Isela también, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Isela, 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 Isela. Tengo a Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Ok, 
Okay. Tengo a William Alexander, Ramírez Flores, acá Herrera, no le puso el nombre, vuelva a enviar, porfa. <ríe> William Alexander. Muchas gracias. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Es excelente. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Very good. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Very good. Rina Marisabel Álvarez Chávez. Very good. Carla Janet, Amaya Herrera. Alan Christopher Abrego. Very good. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés Miriam Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde y Jocelyn Wow Creo que la mayoría ya había llevado a cabo esta encuesta, ¿verdad? Jocelyn, Sandra Elizabeth En Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Fátima Efegenia en Elvin. Bien, me falta Claudia Maricela Solano, Sabrina Mabel, que no está con nosotros este día. Falta Caro. Dice Claudia Marisela Solano. Thank you. Carolina, no sé si está por acá. Sí, es que está teniendo problemas ah. de conexión. Vaya, vaya, yo le espero todavía. Bien, uh, bien, ya todos estamos. Solamente faltaría Carol. Ya casi terminamos. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan, chicos, con relación a esto? ¿Algo más? Eh, y bueno, todos me decían por ahí que ya, ya les cayó el correo de confirmación o la invitación para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Sí? sí. Okay. ¿Cuándo sí. empieza? Jueves. jueves. El jueves. jueves. ¿El otro jueves? Este jueves. Este jueves. Este jueves. Ah, vaya. <risa> jueves santo. Jueves ah, pues santo. sí, va a ser el mismo. <risa> ¿Qué jueves santo? <risa> Viernes de amigos, jueves de amigos. Jueves de amigos, amigo. ok. Al dos por uno, ok. Ay, no, no, no. No, 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 paso, paso. Le, mientras Carolina termina, les cuento, el domingo hice una, hicimos una, dos pizzas. No, 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 qué burrado. La verdad es que sí, porque ya te cuento. Bueno, mira, quedó tan rico. Eh, hicimos un horno artesanal en Lourdes, en la casa de mis suegros. Ahí en, con mi suegro inventando. Eh, quedó bien chivo el horno. Pues para estrenarlo hicimos unas pizzas con unas latas de pan, porque antes hacíamos pan en el puerto de la libertad. Long story short. Y nos quedaron súper bien las pizzas. Enormes, repletas de quesos, todo bien. Eh, ya después de que comimos, tapamos una pizza con la otra, una lata con la otra, ya cuando nos veníamos, empacamos los pedazos de pizza y nos dimos cuenta de que adentro habían quedado como tres moscas. 
Bien oh cocinadas. Oh my God. Habían quedado como cinco o seis pedazos, pero lo impresionante fue que descubrí, descubrí que si una mosca se te para en la comida, lo primero que hace es poner sus huevitos. Es horrible. Oh. Ese, mi suegra me dijo, mire, esas cosas blancas que usted ve ahí, cabal un tumultito así blanco, pequeño, y yo, Dios mío, tengan cuidado. Eh. Mucho cuidado. Eso me dio... Desde, desde, desde el domingo estoy que ¡ah! odio las moscas no las puedo ni ver antes odiaba más los zancudos y no odio más las moscas ok ay Adita me faltaba Ada oh my god Ada y por qué no me dice nada oh my god excelente ahí está doctora muy bien porque a veces, me, a veces me dan ganas de decirle mi doctora, pero oígame, doctora. Salí a ver a Betty la fea mucho y todo el mundo se decía doctora. Ahí es como decir licenciado, quizás, ¿verdad? Acá, cuando le dicen a uno, le dicen. Colombiano. Ah, los colombianos dicen mucho. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing, right? Well, in English, that doesn't exist. There's no title in English. Hey, cuidado, ¿eh? Mr. Rafael, ah, uh ah. -uh. Mrs. Isela, uh -uh. right? Say Miss Miranda or Miss Miranda. Mr. Rodriguez, he used the last name. Did you know that? El apellido. Yeah. No sé, es con el apellido, de hecho, no. Los hindús, ellos ocupan mucho eso, te dicen Mr. Antonio, Mr. Bueno, creo que es un problema de no conocer eso, que, cuál es su apellido, si es tu nombre el que les está dando. Pero hacen mucho eso de decirte Mr. Juan. Yeah. Ok, we're ready. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias, chicos, de verdad, por seguir instrucciones. You are awesome. Bien. Estamos completos. We're missing a few minutes. So let's finish this by reading, practicing reading really quick. <laughs> okay. There are some difficult, quite difficult words on that reading on page 40. So let's practice just for five minutes. Okay. Before we finish the class. Okay. Let's do it. I'll send you the screenshot to your WhatsApp again. Let's go. Oh. Hello. Hello. Elvin, Johnny, Sandita. Sandero Allen. Elvin. Okay. We are, we are going to try. Read. Let's go. Go ahead. Let me check if I have the book. It's on the chat as well. I send you the image here. What's up? Oh, I, I did a check. Okay, I got it. There's a lot of screenshots over there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Which are the 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 paragraph that say trading evaluation? We are going to or what? Only read. Only read. Yeah, let's just read. It's the 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 same reading we were doing before the uh, survey. Uh, the paragraph that says training evaluation, mm -hmm. asking your employees what they saw of the training is an important part of the... Started using them measure and effectiveness of the training program. Companies must combine such information with adjusted evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Excellent. 
Okay, so who is next? You. One. Me? Okay. Yeah. Training, training evaluation. Asking your employees what they talk of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey, talk email, a checklist, or questionnaire right after the training is over. A trainee survey focusing on the application of the new skill once your worker have started using the measures, the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must com combine such information with objective evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Great. And uh, the teacher yeah. <laughs> says three words. Me. <laughs> oh, you. Back to tools, measure, and I don't remember the other one. Yeah, but you did a good job. Okay. And, okay, so who is next? The teacher. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Carla, Carla. Carla. Training, training evaluation. Asking your employees what the goal of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I cannot it, hear you. It may be on an electronic survey. 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 Mm -hmm. I check. Three. Wow, time flies. How time flies, okay? As time goes by, Frank Sinatra, as time goes by, okay. It's time for me to go. And I'm staying tonight with, I forgot, give me Jose Antonio Cubias Hernandez, okay? Jose Antonio, we're staying for 10 minutes. Let me do the attendance and yes, I will see you on Thursday, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Right. Sí, me van a seguir viendo la carota, okay? Pero que no se aburran de verdad y voy a tratar de, de hecho, hacer mejor en la próxima clase, okay? El jueves, eh, tratar de sorprenderlos un poco más, eh, preparar mejor ese, ese módulo 2 para que nos divirtamos más, ¿les parece? Okay. What is the new okay. topic? You'll see, you'll see, but it has to do with training. Tiene que ver con training también, development, de desarrollo de personal. Eso me encanta a mí. Ya van a ver, es un tema bien bonito. Okay. Let's okay. get this going. De hecho, del siguiente módulo, los que van para supervisores en sus empresas, van a poder agarrar material para apantallar en la empresa. Tener nuevas ideas, okay. Let's go. Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present teacher. Bye. Good night. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Night. Night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. 
Sam. Good night. Good night, Carla y Anet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Bye. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Night. Night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Goodbye, teacher. See you Good. Thursday. See you on Thursday. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Don José Antonio Cubillas Hernández, buenas noches. ¿Cómo estamos? Siempre intentando. <ríe> Muy bien. Bien, entre la última sesión y esta sesión, ¿qué hemos hecho para mejorar? Mm, I, I listen podcasts. Podcasts. Podcast. Podcast, vocabulario. Ajá. ¿En qué Estoy plataforma con... o en qué redes sociales haciendo podcasts? En Spotify. Spotify. To, in, to English se llama una... To English. A mi hijo le encanta el Spotify, pero yo no, no sé, no... No es lo mío, le digo. Ajá. Uno de viejo lo ocupa más que todo para recordar cómo se llama una canción. <risa> Pero Ajá, sí, escucha, qué bueno. Escuchando canciones también, de, en, en, mm. más que todo en, en canales de YouTube de unos. Si le, si le envié el link de lyricstraining.com. Sí, lyricstraining. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, ok. Muy bien. Y los audios con las letras, ¿se acuerdan? Los lyrics. Ahí encontré otra página similar con audios, eh, lectura. Y diferentes acentos, de hecho, esa página está mucho mejor, la verdad. Y pues, qué bueno, ¿no? Lo, lo, lo que hemos estado haciendo. Eh, ¿Has sentido algún progreso? ¿Cómo se ha probado para ver si ha tenido algún efecto positivo eh, lo que he estado practicando? Pues quizás cuando un poquito más de... de, de... Cuando Ajá, con los compañeros, no, más que todo con los, con los compañeros ahí, pero es, es bien mínimo, ¿no? siento que es bien mínimo. ¿no? Ah, pues le invito a que, a que se aplique un poco más, ¿verdad? A poder hablar más, porque sí, pues lo que viene es, es bastante similar el hecho de estar generando ideas propias, ¿no? Y, y poder desarrollarlas. No sé si le hablé del Just a Minute, el solo un minuto, la técnica de para poder hablar. No. ¿No? Eh, ahí le voy a enviar el link. Es, esto prácticamente es, es bien sencillo. Eh, como lo principal que, el principal problema que tenemos al hablar, incluso en español, es traer a la mente ideas, ¿no? Eh, traer ideas eh, sobre lo que pueda significar eh, esa palabra. Por ejemplo, si yo le dijese en español que me hable de rocas, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si lo podría hacer por un minuto sin parar. Es decir, y en español, que, que es un problema que, que no se aborda en ninguna parte de nuestro de nuestro aprendizaje, no nos enseñan a esto, a razonar. Y razonar, pues, en el sentido de, de, de poder generar nuestras propias ideas en torno a un objeto o a un tema específico. Eh, en español, a mí me dicen, háblame de rocas. Tenés un minuto. 
Híjole, las rocas son de diferentes tamaños, formas, colores, las encuentro en ríos, se ocupan para diferentes cosas en construcción. Híjole, y ahí voy, ¿no? Fácil, ¿no? Ok, ah, hay rocas en otros planetas, nuestra, nuestro planeta es considerado una roca flotante y etcétera. Mm. Ahora en inglés. Y eso es lo que yo les recomiendo cuando están, cuando se vuelve un poco difícil hablar inglés, les recomiendo primero hacerlo en español, ¿sí? Crear un cierto discurso, digamos. Eh, ahí en ese video habla, habla el, ex, el exponente, el ponente habla de, de que, de trenes, él habla de trenes, su primera idea son trenes, y que le gustan, le gusta usarlos, a veces sí, a veces no, a veces están llenos, y da toda una idea, en un minuto, el primer intento. Segundo minuto, dice él, um, volverlo a intentar ya con las ideas en la cabeza, más o menos recordar, ¿verdad? Ok, volverlo a intentar. Ya el tercer intento, ya puedo tomar notas de hecho de lo que dije y poner, poder estructurar mejor el discurso que voy a dar en un minuto. Pues mi recomendación con todo esto es llevar a cabo ese hilo de tres minutos, pero al final, si es posible escribirlo, si es posible grabarse, Diciendo lo que uno quiere decir. ¿De qué, ¿Cómo me funciona esto? Pues la idea ante todo, José Antonio, es criticarse. Criticarse uno mismo. Pues me trabo, me trabo por completo. No hay o qué decir, no encuentro ninguna palabra. ¿Qué me indica eso? Necesito vocabulario. Vocabulario, pero ¿de, sí. qué, voy a, ¿de qué voy a buscar vocabulario? Ah, me estaba preguntando sobre montañas. Voy a buscar vocabulario sobre bosque, cómo se hace árboles y todo, y voy generando la idea. Porque este lo único que necesita es que le sembremos una idea y él empieza a trabajar. ¿Sí o no? Mm -hmm. <ríe> y ese es el problema en la noche cuando uno se quiere dormir, ¿verdad? <ríe> y está dándole vuelta a todo. ¿no? Entonces, lo mismo. Lo mismo ocurre al aprender un idioma. Hay que darle temática al cerebro para que busque vocabulario. Y esa es la base. Esa es la base. La gramática, le decía la vez pasada, hay que hacer tareas, hay que agarrar un libro. No sé si lo, lo, si lo hizo, logró conseguir un libro y el lapicero de colores. A empezar a llevar una disciplina. O sea, si quiere aprender, ¿verdad? Esto es disciplina. Disciplina, todos los días. Una hora, por lo menos, todos los días. Y créame, vale la pena. Vale la pena. Um, se ha proyectado contratar 12 mil personas para el final del año en la industria de call centers. Hey, y créame, imagínense que están dando un bono de 800 dólares por referir, por, por con, ser, quedar contratado. O sea, al que refiere en mi empresa le dan 300 dólares. O sea, yo lo refiero, o sea, a mí me dan 300 dólares, a usted le dan 800 dólares por quedar. Así, repartido, para el primer mes le dan 400, el segundo le dan otros 200 y el último mes le dan otros 200. O sea, y el sueldo, el sueldo base son 750, por hablar bien inglés. Eso es lo único sí. que piden, es lo único que piden. Entonces, ¿sí vale la pena o no? Sí, vale la pena. Sí, entonces... Por eso lo... hay que intentarlo. Sí, ¿y en su familia nadie habla inglés, José Antonio? Dice sí, sí que no, de mi, de mi familia nadie. ¿Tiene Ay, hijos? Sí, tengo dos. ¿Y no están aprendiendo en la escuela? Dos niños. Y si como el primero está en segundo grado, mm. la niña no, no va todavía. Uh -huh. Ah, para agarrar el segundo grado. Mire, mi hijo menor va a tercer grado. Y ya se habla hasta por los codos. Pues eso hago yo con él. Porque él sí es bien súper curioso, súper inquieto. ¿Y cómo se dice tal cosa? ¿Y cómo se dice tal cosa? Y le digo, pero repetíle. <risa> eso me pregunta y ahí le da un poquito de pena pero lo empieza a hacer y le da como risita verdad entonces esa inocencia de aprovecharle a los niños o sea, ya agarró algo de vocabulario con nosotros entonces empieza a aplicarlo con el niño, eso sería una, buen, un buen, una buena motivación sí ok sí. bien, vamos a seguir el jueves, ¿verdad? vamos a seguir excelente bien, adiós Excelente, primero Dios que ahí estemos entonces, que pasen una feliz noche y sigamos repasando, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Good night, take Bye. care. Good night.